Okay, so hanging out in the back of the shop and I got that need, that need to read. So I pull out my territorial deck and the first three cards that came out are giving me insight on who this is for. The first cup we got, uh, the first card we got was Eight of Cups Upright followed by the Knight of Cups Reversed. These two things together tell me that right now this is for someone who feels a little bit disconnected, a little bit of a feeling of withdrawal. I want to withdraw from the world around me and kind of moody, a little disappointed with things that are going, like my expectations have gotten in the way for me. Is that you? Is that you, friend? Is it? So the card that came out after that is Queen of Cups Upright. And this is all about learning to love yourself and embrace your psychic side and your calm spirituality. This card to me tells me, slow down, take your time, take your time. And that's the big thing here. Like you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed because you're overwhelming and stressing yourself. Just saying. So let's see what kind of clarity we can get here. So we get seven of cups reversed. You're, you feel this way because you've lost sight of your purpose. You have lack of conviction, a little bit of confusion about what you're supposed to be doing. Are you trying to do everything at once? Because that's kind of what it feels like. If you're asking yourself, why do I feel so stuck? Like I can't move forward and I, I don't have any motivation. I don't have any inspiration but it's because you've lost track of what you actually have passion for and what your purpose is. You started paying attention to the physical world around you and all the obligations that you have and it's helped you to kind of lose track of what you wanted to do and where you wanted to see yourself. So it's about getting back on track with that, really getting back into that side of you. We also get the justice card reversed and this is about dishonesty and unfairness but I feel like this is related to you. Like you're being a bit dishonest with yourself when you say, I don't have time for this or I don't have time for that. Is that really true? Because I find we have more time for these things than we say we do. You know, finding time to take care of yourself, it seems hard, but if you stop doing all the other crap for everybody else, you have time. So that dishonesty card, I feel like is about being dishonest with yourself. Are you lying to yourself? I'm gonna ask for one more or two more cards just to get some clarity. Where should we go from here? What do we do with this? How do we help ourselves, right? Like, what can we ask for? We get like the king of cards, the king of pentacles upright. This is all about abundance, prosperity, security, wealth, and leadership. And I feel like you're being asked to take a leadership role in your own life. Instead of waiting for someone to tell you what you should do, why don't you do what you know you should do? Let's see if there's one more that comes out for us. There it is. Okay, so we get the Empress reversed, and this is all about financial strife, fertility issues, lack of self-reliance. So let's just review. This reading is for someone who feels disconnected, a little bit of disillusionment from their life and what they thought they were gonna do with themselves. It's making you moody, it's making you question everything. It's really making you feel a little sad about stuff. But this comes because this part of you, this intuitive, psychic, calm, spiritual part of you has been blocked out for some reason. It's like you've lost your sense of purpose, you stopped doing it for the reason you wanted to, like you're doing it to fill an obligation now. And this has led you to be dishonest with yourself. I'm not saying you're lying to anybody else, but you're dishonest with yourself and you're in a state of imbalance right now. And that's why you feel like you can't move forward. The King of Pentacles comes out to let you know that abundance and prosperity, security, all these things are around the corner, but you have to get off your tushish, your tushish, you have to get off your tukus and actually do something about it. The Empress card reversed about the financial strife. You're, it, it just gives me this feeling that you're letting all of your physical world dictate what you pay attention to. And I'm not at all saying to ignore your physical world, but I am saying that when you give all of your attention to those things that are causing you anxiety, you're just telling law of attraction to bring you more anxiety. Again, not telling you to bury your head in the sand, but telling you to be more selective of where you spend your attention. This reading is really reminding you that you're in charge of your journey, that this feeling that you're feeling right now from all these cards that came flying out towards us is because you've lost sight of the reason why you were doing it. Instead of doing it because it feels good and you like helping people, you're doing it to pay your bills or something like that. And you're being encouraged to shift your focus back to the other side, to your passion, to that sort of thing. You're also being encouraged to stop lying to yourself and saying you don't have time for self-care because you do. Because all it has to be is five minutes at a time. It doesn't have to be for hours, just five minutes. And I know you have five minutes. So I hope this reading finds whoever needs it. I felt the need to get it out there. There it is. 
And you know what? Even with all this going on, today is a great day. You get to choose to make it a great day every day. That's up to you. I'm just saying.